Yo, what's going on? Who the fuck do you think this is? It's me, and I'm back. <sighs> what am I back from? I mean, not talking, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> into the mic. Dude, I'm gonna get uh, OBS, and I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna make sure to basically just have a laptop camera for now and then I'll make this entire room a stage and a music room so basically I'll be able to do streams and YouTube videos and vlogs with a camera, good lighting eventually I will purchase better lighting a good microphone a good camera in a stage. Let me sip my coffee. <sighs> That's what it's all about. Coffee is the shit. That's right. My cat Morty is literally sitting on my lap right now. It's a lap cat. I'm lucky. That's what my friend tells me. So we <sighs> And it is exhausting being me, I swear. But you just keep going anyways every day. Story of my life. Walking through mud while on steroids or walking through mud while on no steroids or sometimes I don't walk through mud but right now I am cause it's bad timing honestly it's bad timing I mean good timing but I'm thinking I'm thinking about something right now I think I should be. I think I should be making the switch. I think I'm gonna start making more definitive series. Um, let me actually pull up my Evernote right now. Okay, this is what I'm gonna call the channel, the creative. No, my my creative process. Oops, my uh, weird ar artifact right there. My creative process, the channel. No, the the show. My creative process, the show. And I'll just see what people are gravitating towards most. So the sunny was one that you guys really liked. I think the Noah. It's basically it's basically the same thing. So I'm gonna the sunny is really only one branch off of the the ship and we'll call it the captain. That's idea for show number one. Then show number two is my comedy show comma bitch no comma parentheses boom bitch yep that is that is that is good so I could call it boom bitch It's gonna be my second show, and it's gonna be just me ranting. This, I'm um, just me basically is going unhinged and just ranting and doing and writing comedy jokes on the fly, and maybe sometimes written. I 
actually, uh, I'll make it. I'll make a sign up. Improv versus scripted. So I'll actually let you know which one of these shows are improv and which one are scripted. Okay. I can write a script this whenever I want to. I just, I'm just not doing it yet. Okay, so I got two shows: The Captain, Boom, Bitch. Then the third show is my our no designer. Yep, my third show is designer, where I just drop all my designs for free. For anybody to to collab with in the free fall designer, free fall, yeah, yeah. There you go. And my cat is fucking destroying me with his claws, trying to jump off my lap. And I'm manic right now, so I'm really ir irritated. So you, you people don't understand how fucking difficult it is for somebody with bipolar and borderline potentially in ADHD. Uh, and sociopathy to not just take a hammer and smash uh, like my cat's head in the second he like hits me with a claw a little bit um, so I just had to learn self control my whole life <laughs> basically <laughs> I know I know it's like fucked up but it's, it's the truth if if I if I had stayed with my father I probably would be a drug lord but I'm I'm, I'm be honest Or I'll, or I'll be or I'll be killing people on the streets, in the streets. But instead, I'm doing this pretty cool, pretty cool. So, the captain, boom, bitch, designer, free for all. Then production. No, gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. I know how it's going. Gold. Found productions. Straight up. That's actually not even gonna be. That's gonna be the name of my of my of my shit. So it's actually let's put that aside. That's not gonna be the show name. The show name will be Hunter. And in Hunter, I'll basically just um, give you a behind-the-scenes look at my creative process. So, so you see how like I'll, I'll be up, I'll be upload, I'll be doing season ones of these uh, once they're in full production on YouTube, and then and once I'm on season two on each of these, I'll start doing um, more more platforms, including YouTube. But I'll, but I'll, I'll, I'll legitimately just—I just love YouTube, YouTube so much because they—they they allow so much for me. So I'll—I'll I'll, I'll let, I'll let it happen like this. That's why I'm not going over to Twitch. By the way, like fuck that. I'll—I'll be—I'll be YouTube streamer as well. Twitch is not my day. Not doing that. So anyhow, oh, whoops, my bad. I wasn't, I wasn't doing the audio engineering thing correctly. Ha ha ha, my bad. Next time, I promise, I'll do the. I mean, I'll learn the audio engineering thing. I'm literally in a uh, trainee, trainee position to become an audio engineer as we speak. So I'll get, I'll get a diploma for that. Probably, probably relatively soon. We'll see. I mean, I'm still a little bit far away, but not really that far away. I mean, I'll get it. I'll get it in a year, I think. Maybe in six months. Knowing me, probably four months. That's the only thing I'll be doing. I'm not. Yeah, I'll be doing that. <laughs> I wonder if they let me go to street college. Hold up, dude. I found. Um, I found a brother. I found. A, okay, I'm getting distracted, but I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter. 
I hope you'll forgive me for getting distracted. I found a, a new best friend. Or not a new best friend, another best friend. Um, he's Indian. And he lives like in Corolla or something. He has a bunch of contacts and we'll, we'll make an anima animation studio. He wants to send me money. What a nice guy. Thank you very nice of you to do all that for me. What a nice guy. What a nice guy, for sure. Um, so, so I have like, um, oh, I have a podcast, podcast, podcast. I already have a name for the podcast. Let me go back to my Evernote. So, so, I, okay, so I need, okay, let me think, let me think. F no, first, Gold Found Productions is going to be the production name of my production company. And Blue Fire Hydrant, no, 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 Fire Hydrant, Blue Hydrant. Blue hydrant, no, no. Fire hydrant designs heads. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Oh my, my cat, my cat is jumping on my lap again. He knows, he knows, he knows. I got, I got good ideas. That's that's one thing you can count on me for. On, I'll always have good ideas. If you, whatever, whatever reason you have for listening to this channel, one thing, get this straight. If you need good ideas, just comment. And just watch my, just watch my channel. And, um, and 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 I'll, I'll redirect you to the show that I'm making right now, producing designer free for all. Okay, and I'll give, I'll give, I'll give you so many ideas for free, for free. For free, I don't care. I'm even. Oh yeah, I've got another show. I've got another idea for a show. Why? Why does? Why does? This? Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter. So okay, f okay. So another idea for a show. All right. Age vlogs. Age vlogs. Those. Are, those are, that's just gonna be my vlogs. No, 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 Producer, design, production, design, vlog, so, that's gonna be it, production, design, vlogs, that's gonna be my vlog. Um, hold up, let me finish my coffee up. Let's see if I can make my cat make some sounds, hold up. Nah, he's being quiet right now. That's good. He seems to be relatively, okay. You know, you know what, you know what I managed, by the way? I was in the psych ward, right? And they had me on leave for 15 minutes only. And I managed to identify the coolest, best doctor in the building immediately. And I just approached him directly and I, t I told him the truth. Which is, my cats are getting depressed because I can't take care of them. And now they allow me to leave for as long as I want, I think. From 15 minutes. It's incredible. So now my cats are much happier. They're much calmer. Both of them are much happier because I've been locked away in a fucking psych ward the entire time. And I've done a lot of shit. I've wrote, I've written so much. I've made so much content. You think I would ever pause or break? No, no, no. I've made contacts. You realize that, like, um, that was just a mistake of my mother, right? That I ended up in the psych ward. I just ended up making so much value off of that entire experience. It's crazy. So it doesn't matter. Either way. I don't want to drive myself out too much, I'm sorry. My mother did a lot for me. She loved her a lot for, a lot for me. Production design vlogs. 
Hydra podcast. No water. No, 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 no. God's fountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. God's fountain podcasts. Podcast. God's fountain. God, that is good. That, the thing is, I'm so good with names. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm so good with words, right? Um, there's actually a correlation. We know scientifically that, that like people with bipolar are extremely gifted at language. So linguistical skills and bipolar go hand in hand. That's why I can rap as well. Let me let me let me let me just bust out the the rap that I wrote. Um, this is so cool. I'll, I'll wrap it. I'll wrap. I'll wrap it real quick. Acapella. Okay. I'm the second coming of Christ, just kidding, but you believe the lie that makes you a liar in turn. I keep returning this shit that you throw at me every day, just trying to jump shit, cause your shit stings. I make you go extinct, I don't blink, you just think. I only do good because I believe in God, bitch. Wait. I, t- I will tell you something, fuck the something, fuck the words, I am the something, and everything in between, cause I already done seen what happened to Charlie Sheen, so I could finally glean, what the fuck y'all been doing to my people all this time, I don't believe, I just keep staying on my grind, all I got is time, cause I never lie, so today I just lie on my ass all day, making sure no one pays for the stupid ass sins, cause I just steal, do not give a fuck. Can you just give it up already? You done. Keep playing a game you can't win. Devil rebuking the sin. I'm already clean of my sins cause I put this shit in the bin. That is your paper keep throwing at me instead of real paper. That I will make every day of my life. I paint you a picture right now. Just so that you can get whatever. What? what, This is incredible. Who did this? Somebody edited edited my shit. This is so cool. I oh my god! I realized what happened, dude. Th- this is oh my god! I think black people might have done this. Either, dude, I oh, this is incredible. Either, either, one of two things happened. Either my new Indian friend just edited my rap, or I actually um I actually gave away my phone to drug addicts, and the girl. That was that is borrowing money from me because she's she used all of the stuff for drugs. She sold it to black people for cocaine, which means that black people had my phone for a while, and they might have gone through my Evernote and they might have seen the first rap song and they might have legitimately edited. <laughs> this is incredible. Somebody edited this. This is so cool. What they they made it even better than it was. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to start from scratch because I'm just so I'm just so impressed. And the beat isn't even. Uh, it's three minutes. It's three and a half minutes long. It's only half the beat. I still need to. I still need to write more. Do you know how many? You know how long it took me to write that? <laughs> like a couple of minutes. But somebody made it even better. It's so cool. Okay, I'll do it acapella again. Okay, sorry. The first rap song. I'm the second coming of Christ. Just kidding, but you believe the lie that makes you a liar in turn. I keep returning the shit that you throw at me every day. Just keep trying to jump shit. Cause your shit stings. I make you go extinct. I don't blink. You just think I only do good. But it's all oh, wow. That's what I had. No, 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 no. Fuck it. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. But someone will change it. This is cool. This is cool. This is honestly fucking sick. The thing is, I, I just, I made it satirical, but they made it a little bit more serious, which is cool, which is cool. I, I tried to, I tried to make like a little bit of a joke, but they made it a little bit more, more, more serious, which is cool. That's, that's fine by me. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to run it back again. I'm sorry. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I have to, I have to do it from top to bottom. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it one run now. The first rap song, okay, I'm sorry. I'm the second coming of Christ, just kidding, but you believe the lie that makes you a liar in turn. I keep returning the shit that you throw at me every day, just trying to jump shit, cause your shit stings. I make you go extinct, I don't blink, you just think. 
I only do good because I believe in God, bitch. I will tell you something. Fuck the something. Fuck the words. I am the something and everything in between. Cause I already done seen what happened to Charlie Sheen, so I can finally glean what the fuck y'all been doing to my people all this time. I don't believe. I just keep staying on my grind. All I got is time. Cause I never lie. So today I just lie on my ass all day, making sure no one pays for their stupid ass sins. Cause I just still do not give a fuck. Can you just give it up already? You done. Keep playing the game, you can't win. Devil rebukes the sin. I'm already cleaning my sins cause I put the shit in the bin. That is your paper you keep throwing at me instead of real paper. That I will make every day of my life. I paint you a picture right now just so that you can get what you can never get. Which is my, just my dream of saving the whole world cause I never gave up. And all you do is give it up. All your lies that is. In between all that is. Cause I just never gave a fuck from the beginning of time. Cause I am the time that you keep stealing from my children. So I just keep spinning your lies back to you until you fucking drop dead and die. Cause I never tell a lie. Boo. Boom, bitch. I never even lived a full life, just full of strife ahead. I did change the letter. Einstein said shit was square. Now everything is literally squared. I just laugh instead and keep going into the next chapter of the book that I write and e call my life. Just draw a circle, bitch. Stupid. Dude, that is incredible. That is incredible. That is so good, dude. <laughs> that, I'm going to ask him if he did that. Because it, there's two possibilities right now. Some some real ass black drug dealing rapper just made my rap better for me, <laughs> or my my homie just did that for me, and both both possibilities are cool. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I still need to I still need to do it twice as long though. But it's just fine. That's so cool. Wait, he can help me. He can help me make my lyrics even better that's crazy dude that shit is so good though it's actually so it's actually so good the lyrics are so good okay my bad i i got i, I got completely i got completely off track there holy shit i'm sorry um but yo like my producer name by the way is gold Farm productions okay just so y'all know I got I got beats on my YouTube channel that you see right now. It's just it's just labeled B one, B two, B three, whatever. Um, okay, so so the channel will be called My Creative Process the Show. I have a bunch of shows of these Ghostbusters books. Let me think about this. Okay, so Gold Found Productions is not only my music production name but my production company. That I will find. Fire hydrant designs heads. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so clean with it. I'm so good. I'm so good. It's crazy how good I am with words. It's just so funny how good I am with words. <laughs> Fire hydrant design heads. <laughs> that is so good. Fire hydrant design heads. Dude. Oh my god. Design sets. Design heads. Get it? Fire. Oh my god, it's so good. Fire hydrant. So a fire hydrant, that is me. I'm a fire hydrant. Get it? Because I'm a hydrant because I'm bipolar. <laughs> and I'm fire because I'm fire. <laughs> so fire hydrant. Design sets. But it's actually spelled designs heads. Because <laughs> I'll be designing heads. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so smart. I'm sorry. I I, I have to drop myself off sometimes because, like, I'm so smart. Fire, I just came up with that. Like, what the fuck? Come on, okay. Fire hydrant design sense. Okay, so, I'll, so, okay. So, I'm going to, I'm going to become an entrepreneur. I will, I will found two companies. One is going to be my production company, which is going to be called 
Gold Found Productions. The second is going to be called Fire Hydrant Designs Heads. <laughs> oh my god, this is so rich. That is so rich. Fire Hydrant Designs Heads. Better, to, better, 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 better hook, hook me up with the hydraulic pressure tube, you know, the pressure valve. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta apply some pressure to the fire hydrant, man. <laughs> He'll design some heads. <laughs> He'll design some heads. <laughs> Maybe I'll assign some heads instead. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have so much fun with this rap shit. It's gonna be ridiculous. And the singing thing too, bro. <laughs> Fire hydro design sense, dude. I I have to make that. I have to make that a rap. I have to make that a rap. I have to make that a rap song. Fire hydro design sense, rap to. I don't give a fuck. That's gonna be the second song I make on my first EP. And I already, I already got a collaborator, but whatever. On my, on my EP, and, I'm, and I already got my name, artist name, MC Doom, DJ, DJ East, the creator, MC Doom. You already know what's going on. Shout out to MF Doom, dude. I'm MC Doom. Get the fuck up. Because I'm younger than he is. Than he is. Because F, he got, he got an F on his fucking grade. I got a C on it. I got a C. So. I always got C's, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm MC Doom. <laughs> DJ East, the creator, MC Doom. <laughs> will be making his first EP. Rap song number one will be called The First Rap Song. Rap song number two will be called Fire Hydrant Design Says. <laughs> And it will be all about the company that I will found. <laughs> Dude, I'm such a fucking baller. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, you know what I'm really afraid of? I will, I will, like, there will come a day relatively soon where, where I will have, like, a herd of women trying to suck my dick. And I'm really, I'm really not looking forward to that because I don't, I'm, I don't like attention. I like pussy, sure, but, but the thing is, like, I already have, like, I already settled for one woman, and so I'm not interested in, in that shit. And so, like, I'm really not looking forward because I'm, I'm, I'm a baller. I am, dude. I'm balling so hard. It's ridiculous. So I will be getting like a herd of women from trying to fucking suck my dick. And I will have to I will have to design some kind of master plan to, to deflect them off of me somehow. And make them collaborate instead of some shit. I don't know, dude. Scissor. Oh, I wanted to produce for Scissor. Yo, it, yo, 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 yo. Somebody clip this. Somebody clip this and send it to Scissor. Um, I actually... And like... Check out the beats I made. Check out the beats I made. I got I got more where that came from, and 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 tell her that I'm a songwriter too. So I would love to write a song for SZA and produce for SZA. Okay, um, I would love to do that, and I would love to have her on one of my shows that I'm producing, and I will be airing them on YouTube and eventually Netflix, and I would love to have her on my podcast. Just. Just let her know that. Thank you. So, anyways, two companies I'm found. I'm founding Gold Farm Productions, Fire Hydro Design Sense. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. The name is so good. Design sets, but not really, because I I'm spelling it designs heads. It's so good. It's so clever. I'm sorry. Okay. So okay. <laughs> I, okay, I need to focus again. Fuck. So I have a bunch of improv shows that aren't even scripted. Um, I, ha I have a bunch of ideas for scripted shows to... One of them is called North Park. And I have two fully written notebooks full of ideas in the other room that I will get in a bit. 
um, North Park. So so I like South Park a lot. So I'll make North Park. Just just as a not not as a not as a slide or anything to Madden Trey. Just as a like a shout out and like as an inspiration because they, they inspired me. So I'll make North Park. I'll, I'll make that show. I'll produce that show. I already have a contact that has an animator, so we'll, so we'll probably make an animation studio. So there's a third, there's a third, there's a third animation studio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make an animation studio. Okay, a web development studio and a game design studio, game development studio. Game development studio, and I mean I live in Berlin, so I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure they'll uh, fund me. I mean, all I have to do is show them my YouTube channel once, and be like, "Oh shit, I have to throw money at this guy." Yep, capitalist pigs. I swear to God. Um, capitalism is literally slavery, by the way. I've I have a video about that. Check it out. Um, okay, so I have North Park. Another scripted show is gonna be Bull Psycho, inspired by Mob Psycho. <laughs> Bull Psycho, and then another show is gonna be Sad Men, <laughs> inspired by Mad Men. Another show is gonna be. Atlanta, <laughs> inspired by Atlanta. <laughs> I'm gonna make that a reality TV show. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make that a reality TV show. But but I'll make it scripted though. I'll make it a scripted reality TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like satire, but satire. And and I'm gonna make White Mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna make White Mirror, where I just basically make white people. Look at themselves the entire time when they watch the shows. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven show pitches, ideas already that are all pure fire. See I'm already I'm already a show producer. So uh, yeah, my life is easy. No, it's not. No, it's not. I almost wanted to kill myself a couple of hours ago. <laughs> I should just have crazy mood swings. That's it. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, dude, I called this by the way. Like the, in the in the in the good enough video. That that was that. that by the way, if, if you if you if you go back now, if you pause this video now and you go to good enough, that was done. That was that was made. That was recorded a couple hours ago from from now from this video and i was in the complete depressive episode dumps and now i'm manic again <laughs> dude the rapid cycling doesn't want to stop it's crazy i went from delirious mania to rapid cycling to depression to to dysphoria to mania to euphoric mania again dude can i like can I get a break from the mania thing? No? I guess not. Bipolar. So I'll make North Park. Fuck, dude. People don't understand. Like, I don't have... A, you, you know, you know. Let me, let me pull up... Let me pull up the, the YouTube page. On my YouTube channel. Dude, I made 411 views in the last 48 hours. Of my total... 600 views it means that I made like 80% of the views in the last 48 hours <laughs> of my channel <laughs> uh, dude I'm too good at this shit I'm too good at this shit so I have 111 videos on my YouTube channel and I made that YouTube channel two weeks ago that means that I made 111 videos in two weeks I have 300, over 300 concurrent viewers. I, that means I have an audience of 300 people. 
I have 29 hours of watch time on what is essentially a show. Do you understand? This entire YouTube channel is a pitch. I will pitch myself as an entrepreneur to the German government with this fucking channel. And I use this channel as a pitch to sell myself on LinkedIn to anybody. So so I'll just tell them, I'll just tell them the story, I'll just tell them the story. I made a YouTube channel in two weeks. I, ha I have made a 111 videos in two weeks, 300 concurrent viewers, 29 hours watch time, 600 views <laughs> in two weeks of making the channel. <laughs> In two weeks, <laughs> 111 videos. So people ask me, how do you do it? I have bipolar. That is how. <laughs> you can't do this. And you never will be able to. Okay. Just understand that you can't make 111 videos unless you're manic as fuck every day of your fucking life. So, like, just understand I'm happy, I'm looking forward to the mania being over because then I can finally take a fucking vacation in Cuba or some shit. But f until then, I need to work, 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 work or I will go crazy. So, back to founding companies and becoming a billionaire. Come on, dude. Except I will be spending all my billions on charity and philanthropy. So anyways, my creative process, the show. So I have 11 show ideas. <laughs> I have 11 show ideas already. So number one, the captain. That was the, 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 the sunny, the, the Noah, the, the whole Noah crap. And uh, the, the, the most popular episode of the captain sample test was and it was something called the sunny so basically what that means is that the idea of the show is simple i manipulate my voice so i i'm, I'm a voice actor and so i voice act into the mic but I'm gonna but I'm manipulate. I my nose is fucking clogged. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about that. Um, because I ain't got no money. But soon I will have. Um, so like basically, what, what do you what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, I'm a voice actor, and you can do this. You can do this yourself because I'll be putting it all into production design vlogs. So. The other show I make. <laughs> so, The Captain is basically you are a voice actor. This is a show that you can make, a, a YouTube channel that you can make right now. You are a voice actor. You, you, you buy, you hire a voice actor to talk into a microphone and you hire a audio engineer to manipulate the the audio in different ways for like for, for example the Noah the Sunny it's so it's evil it's happy it's spacey it's it's like all these different universes all these different sonic soundscapes you put on the voice actor that is basically just trip setting you but like even when you're sober so that is that is the idea of the captain. That's a product. That is a product that I designed and produced myself. And my parents try to tell me shit. It's hilarious. Show number two, boom, bitch. That is another product. Another product design and another show. Wait, wait, my creative process is the show. I need, I need title, I need to see the title. 
of my of my Evernote. My show ideas January twenty ninth. 2024 because 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 i mean i'll have i'll have more than 11 show ideas by tomorrow <laughs> so boom bitch uh, product design number two show number two boom bitch this is for all the comedians out there you could do this right now just buy yourself a macbook pro or a, a, a laptop a audio interface and a sure sm57 and you just you just stand in your room and you make your own room the the stand up comic stage and you just upload it to youtube or or you stream it or you do tiktok or you do whatever but you do it in a way that is just a comedy show though and you rant so you basically just rant into the mic but you also do your comic thing so you, so that means that you could train and practice your craft of comic and ranting <laughs> into the microphone at home on the fly because it's a laptop and an audio interface and a Shure SM57 which means you can do it wherever you want which means that you can even record your stand-up uh, your stand-up specials uh, no, your, your, your performances anywhere you can even go into the street right now and do a performance of comic of comedy with the laptop and just record it on a DAW or Audacity and this is what you do you just record yourself and you and you and this is the product that I'm selling you this is the product design and I just made every comic in the world a god oh I'm so good I'm such a baller it's ridiculous dude if you don't ball like him or Kobe, guaranteed that bitch gonna leave you. Hey, time is extremely valuable, but I prefer to waste it on girls. It's basic. That's just some yay shit. And we do what you want. Let's have a threesome. Just me and the you and the blunt. Let's me and the just you and the blunt. I love y'all titties cause they prove that I can focus on two things at once. <laughs> Dude, it's so true though. Um, it's so true though. He's right. Men need to understand that if you're not balling, women will leave you. <laughs> it's that simple. If you it's it's not it's not complicated at all. But whatever. Designer free for all. Product design number three, show number three, out of 11. <laughs> out of 11. And these are just improv. These aren't even scripted. Do you understand? You don't even need a script for any of these. So, so if you're somebody that is better at improv, just, just go, uh, just... Just listen to this part, this half of the of the video. If you, somebody's better at uh, scripted, then just skip ahead to the to the later parts of the video, and I got you as well. So designer free for all. This is one of my favorite fucking ideas that I've ever had. So I'm a genius. I am. I'm a genius. It's and I, without a doubt. And here's the fucking thing. But I, there, there's, there comes a responsibility with being a genius. You have to give back to the community. You're a genius. So, that, so I figured it out. I figured out a product that allows me to do that. I'm a designer. I'm a, pro, I'm a producer. And, I am with, and I'm a musician. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Of course, I give my music for free on YouTube. I produce music on like whatever. But that doesn't even matter. I, I give my music for free on YouTube. And this is what this was this was so cool. This was so cool. This is my product. Number three out of eleven. Designer free for all, I call it. And this is all that you have to do. If you're somebody that has ideas 
any idea at all about anything, just grab a mic, a computer, and just record yourself talking about your ideas and upload it on any social media platform and let everyone have your ideas for free. It's a free for all. Get it? Because it's free for all. All of, my, all of my ideas are free for all. Designer, free for all. Product number three. Show number three. Come on. Dude, these people really... Anyways, moving on. Four out of 11 now. Uh, three out of 11. I'm getting, to, I'm getting to product number four. Hunter. This is... This is another great one. This is another great one. So this is this is basically behind the scenes the show. So I'm so I'm also a creative genius, right? And if you're a creative genius, if you're if you're if you're anybody that has any kind of like creative output or any process at all, if you're anybody that has any process at all, what if you just record stream or record your process for free and upload it as you do your work and you earn extra money on the side think about that think about that i call this product hunter because you're hunting the fucking cash yeah 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 i got you people four out of eleven Dude, I do this shit on the go. I don't even have to come on. This shit is nothing to me. So, production. Okay, five. Number five. Product and show number five. Production design vlogs. Or production design vlogs. I think vlogs is honestly a lot better than vlog. What, what is that? Why do you say it vlog? Production design vlogs. Uh, anyways. It's, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. I'm a producer and I'm a designer, so I'm a just it's just a vlog, basically. But it's a special kind of vlog. No, 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 you think I'm selling you bullshit. No, I'm not. I'm selling you a beautiful, amazing product. It's called Production Design Vlogs, which means that if you're a producer and a designer, you just vlog your process of producing and designing and you put it out there and you sell that shit money money moving on gold fountain podcast okay i don't really have to explain that one it's just a podcast do podcasts it's why would you not do podcasts you know how easy it is just just ask any person to find you an audio engineer Buy minimal equipment for minimal money and you can immediately have a podcast. Do you understand what a podcast is? You just talk with another person, which means you're getting social contact directly with another person and you're making money off it. Everybody should have a podcast. Not just Joe Rogan. Okay, so... And, and, and here's the... So what, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six out of 11 uh, products and shows that I have. Um, I still got more. <laughs> you thought, you thought, you thought I got nervous. <laughs> I'm never nervous. I'm, I'm never nervous. What do I have to be nervous about? <laughs> Bro, come on. Dude, some people think I'm nervous. No fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. Anyways, so here, so here's the five, here's the three studios I will open and the two uh, companies that I will found. Gold Found Productions, production company, Fire Hydro Designs, Heads, <laughs> design company, animation studio. I will open an animation studio. I will open a web development studio. So I can make uh, websites, and I will open a game development studio so I can make video games. Yeah, 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 that's right. 
And now, now we get to improv versus scripted. So now I'm going to talk about my scripted show ideas. And remember, I'm combining all this with production design, vlogs, and designer free for all, and Hunter already. Which means that you get to actually get my ideas for free. I'm giving your. The thing is, here's, here's the thing. Think about this. Why do we hog and copyright ideas? That doesn't even make any sense to me. You can make so much more money if you have an idea, a seed, and you allow different branches to grow off it. Look at YouTube. They did it right. Trying to copyright the seed is an unintelligent business decision. So I'm not going to do that because I'm a genius. So we're, we're six out of 11 and we're getting the seven now. North Park. It's just South Park except better because <laughs> I'm doing it, bitch. I'm doing it all. I'm going to make the music for North Park. I'm going to act. I'm going to voice act every character. I will draw everything. I, I won't be animating it, but I'll be making an animation studio, which means somebody else is going to animate everything. And I will talk and I will tell them what to animate. I will write and act and I will write the script for every episode and I will produce the entire show <laughs> but, the, but the idea is simple I mean it's just it's just South Park it's just satire of a of an entire society culture or country and I'm going to fucking satirize the shit out of Germany Deutschland you're going to get satired on so hard it's not even going to be funny and you really deserve that you need a little bit more satire germany these people are too serious i'm deutsch i go arbeit i go i go earn geld bureaucracy heil hitler okay chill the fuck out why are these people so tense Dude, go go do some tango or some shit, dance. Play some drums or something. What the fuck? Do some hip hop. Listen to some hip hop. Please chill the fuck out. Dude, these 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 people need some satire. They need a show just for them and I will do that. And I'll even the funny thing is I speak three languages, which means <laughs> This is how much of a baller I am. Which means I'm not only going to produce the entire show, minus the animation, but I'll but I'll, but I'll be found in the animation studio, so it's still mine. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> but I also speak three languages, which means I... Puedo hablar en español. So I'll speak in Spanish and ich kann auch Deutsch reden. So I'll speak in German and I'll speak in English and I'll literally make, I'll produce the show completely by myself except one, uh, except one or two animators, I guess, or a couple of animators. And I'll also be doing the translations in three languages. <laughs> And the, and the show idea is not complicated. Just, just you can do this as well. If you're in India, if you're in any other country, just pick a country and satirize the shit out of it. Just do a show that just is satire of an entire country. Just do that, please. I want you to never stop until there's a fucking satire show about every country in the world. Thank you. Comedy is getting slacked, and I won't let that happen. I'm the hero, Superman of comedy, to Superman of comedy. I'm a fucking hit the commies up with the homies up. I'll be balling harder than Kobe. I'll be balling harder than Kobe Bryant ever did. Michael Jordan is a bitch I am better than Kanye West I'm the greatest of all time Already past tense, bitches Boom, bitch, my new show, haha <laughs> 
I produce it. <laughs> Dude, this is uh, this video is literally the pitch of eleven different shows that I was just sent to a bunch of corporate fucks and Netflix and all this shit and YouTube. And what I will what I will be fucking expecting is a bunch of people being like, ooh, ooh, fuck, I need to help this guy make his fucking dreams come true. It needs to be me. It needs to be me. Apple, YouTube, Google, Twitch. Yeah, I decide. Whatever. I'm I'm the number one producer and designer and musician, okay? So not musician, not yet. But I'm the number one producer and designer. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm the greatest of all time. Already. I don't already. Shut up. Shut up, whoever you are. Shut up. I'm a better producer and I'm a better designer. Just wait. Oh, I almost forgot. Production design vlogs, right? That includes game design vlogs. <laughs> Remember designer free for all that? That includes game design. So if you want to make a video game, just say it. Just combine it with all my product ideas. Just combine them all and see what it comes out of the beautiful box that I've given you. The real product. The combination of all of these products. <laughs> and I'm not even done. It's just Monday, January 29th, 2024 on 5 a.m. 33. Which means tomorrow I'll have 20 more ideas than yesterday. <laughs> Bipolar disorder. Where's the pathology? I just see me balling. That's the, that's the only thing I see. Where's the pathology? Whatever. Anyways. Bull cycle. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So we're seven out of eleven. We're coming on, on the two. Eight. Bull cycle. Inspired by mob cycle. And that's just gonna be me doing the same thing that one did. And then I want an animation studio to animate it exactly how I want it to be animated. And I will make an anime. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it'll be called Bulb Psycho. And you can do this at home too. Just, just do the same thing one did. Just Google Mob Psycho, One Punch Man. What did that guy do? Just do the same thing. 8 out of 11. Sad men. It's, it's going to be a combination of Bojack Horseman, Mad Men, and Atlanta. No, it's going to be a combination of Bojack Horseman and Mad Men. And I'm going to call it Sad Men. But it's going to be... But it's going to be... Um, it's going to be really funny. It's going to be really funny. It's going to be it's gonna be satirical comedy. But it's going to be about mental health. And I'm just going to satirize the entire psychology department. Because the entire DSM needs to be torn to shreds by satire. And I will do that job. Okay. 9 out of 11. Next. Fat Lanta. <laughs> I'll satirize all of these stupid reality TV shows by combining Atlanta, Donald Glover's amazing show, and combining it with, uh, but it'll be scripted. It'll be scripted reality TV, <laughs> but it'll be a satire of reality TV, just like Atlanta, it, because it'll be both episodic and anth anthological. So short stories, yet a, uh, yet a uh, core cast of characters that has a development, just like that. I'll copy. I'll copy the entire blueprint of Atlanta. I'll just add reality TV and fat people. <laughs> I'll make fun of fat people as much as I want. <laughs> they think they're safe. They think they're safe. No way. No way. You aren't. You aren't. 10 out of 11. White mirror. White people think they're safe. <laughs> 
what? Remember Black Mirror? Dude, I'll make that entire show just for white people because I will satirize the crap out of white people until they finally get how a white person really acts around fucking other people, other races. That is going to be hilarious. White Mirror, I'll call it. <laughs> And hey, hey, if 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 any of these ideas of these show ideas feel like oh I want to do that, do it, do it, do it. I, I'll, I'll produce it anyways. You can just produce it your way. I don't care what you do with the idea. I won't copyright strike it. I won't copyright it. I will not copyright anything that I do except the final like production. Only when I'm really in production, and then I will be the boss. I will be the Steve Jobs that tells people copyright this, copyright that. And I will be not an asshole. So you you can you can make white mirror, you can make your white mirror, I can make my white mirror, she can make her white mirror. I don't give a fuck. You can make your Asian mirror. You can make your German mirror, you can make your black mirror. I don't care. Make your Latino mirror, but I don't give a fuck. That was it, 11 out of 11. <laughs> so, that is the big product, this entire video, just for you. Oh, but you thought I was done? I wasn't done yet. I'm also going to give you a motherfucking audiobook sample of the book that I'm writing already. Hold up. Do, 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 do. Gotta find it first. Gotta find it first. Oh, there it is. Okay. I call I call the book Dreamcatcher. Chapter one. What is a zombie? Tonight I didn't sleep for a single second again. Can't remember the last time I slept and woke up. I have no dreams and I never sleep. I only lie down and rest, recover, and think and think and think and process and process and process until the eventual moment where a lightning bolt of inspiration strikes. I get up and I either talk into a mic, write, or make music. I heard a patient in the Alexander Hospital in Station 39 say once, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Much like a zombie might. I won't succumb to sleep though, despite how many meds they give me. I intentionally beat the shit out of my mother's boyfriend just so that I can make the police understand who and what they were really dealing with. Three letters. MSA. NSA. USA. GIL. ADA. Whatever riddle I throw at you. Whatever maze I make you step into. You have the key, you just have to find it. There are certain things that only I can do. So I just did them. I am a master tactician. I devised a master plan that would eventually lead me to this moment. And I made myself intentionally pseudo forget about it and not think about it at all because I was inspired by Death Note and what Light Yagami did. I started a YouTube channel called I Solve Bipolar because I knew that the whole DSM-5 was total bullshit. You know what I think DSM-5 stands for? Dog shit sad males level 5. And so I fucked it. I replaced it with three different letters. WSM-6. Wolf Sigma Mammals level 6. Fuck men, I like women more. Except bros. I love bros. Most men aren't bros though. They're betas and I am the whole alphabet. Instead of shitting more on retards that choose to follow Andrew Tate and Elon Musk, I'll stop beating around the bush and I'll just tell you what the fuck is up right now. I grab the microphone and I just stop masking completely. I pour my soul out into the mic for the entire duration of the manic episode, including the eventual crash that I knew was going to happen. I have pushed my best friend and the person I am deeply in love with away, including every one of my friends and social circles. But instead of crying about it by myself, guess what I did instead? I recorded the entire breakdown, so that every person with bipolar can just tell someone this. You want to understand me? Okay. Then watch every second of this channel, including or only the crash, or I walk. Boom, bitch. Easy, light, work. Before I explain why I do the things I do, I am really interested in one simple question. Why do people sleep? I know what you're thinking. 
Of course, because of this and that, but do you even realize what you're saying to me? You're only throwing language and variables at me. That's right, this and that equals to X and Y, and everything in between is literally just that. Literature in the form of words containing some form of equation that contains within it one or two variables, sometimes more, a claim, a proposition, an argument, and a reason given to support your hypothesis. But you know what I think? Whatever the fuck I even means, you're all dead wrong. I read a bunch of books and stories. I watched some movies and shows comedy specials, video games, I met and talked to a lot of people from all different walks of life. And here's my main hypothesis, my main point, core argument of this whole book. The zombie apocalypse is already happening. I would like to call the virus cancer. Real quick, a shout out to all my main and secondary inspirations. Ria, Korai, Daniel, Fabian, Antonia, Ye, David Goggins, Alo Kanijoa, Rick Rubin, Angelo DeLulo, James Cleo, Tim Ferriss, H. Edo Oda, Andrew Huberman, Michael Jordan, Camilo Alvarez, Isa, Mali, Bojack Horseman, Donald Glover, Mad Men, Atlanta, Euphoria, Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead, The King Killer Chronicles, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, The Wheel of Time, One Piece, X Men, Marvel and Comic Books, Anime and Manga, All Video Games, Darwin, Albert Einstein, Hitler, Buddha, Jesus Christ, My Family, Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Attack on Titan, Any Detective Show or Book, Lock Lamora, Dragon Ball, Hunter Hunter, Women All Over the World, Nikola Tesla, 2012, Christopher Columbus, Xavier, Luffy, Transformers, Ready Player One, Steve Jobs, and last but not least, my dog shit mother and my father. So, I was inspired by Tim Ferriss to try something. I was going to use myself as a human guinea pig. I was allegedly suffering from bipolar 1 undiagnosed. It was ruining my life, so I had an idea. I could feel another huge manic episode coming my way. And by now I know the pattern. I'll lose all of my friends and loved ones. So I saw what Ye did. And I saw what Tim Ferriss did. So I meshed it together and I added myself. That's why I jokingly call myself Gilgamesh sometimes. Cause I mesh shit, get it? I recorded the entire creative process of mine. I showed people the entire contents of my mind, the psyche, the way my brain works. And I did it at extremely high levels of output while making sure to let the product naturally evolve as a person creating a show, product design sprinkled in throughout, a live science experiment using myself as a guinea pig, the lap rat, and I made a show out of myself and of myself making the show too. And trust me, I did not hold back. You want to know what creativity really looks like? Are you interested in learning and self-improvement? Yes? Then you're in luck, because I forgot the final ingredient in my show idea. Teaching and education. So I just became the show. Anything in my way becomes material. Any ball of communication that is being thrown my way, I catch, then throw back into the show. Which at this point has already become a multi-headed monster. That's right, I have created a hydra of creation. So any and every person that meets me is part of my hydra. And they don't even know it yet, I call it name. Actually now I just change it, it's called Hydra now. You wanna be Hercules? I dare you, cut off my heads. But realize that my Hydra is hydro hydraulic pressure tube of truth and nothing but the truth and creation. But if you cut off the heads, I just make new ones, stronger ones. So please, be a hero, why don't you? At least you pick the right villain, the right monster to make your ally and or rival, the right target. We'll make each other stronger, because I am water, you can't cut me. Just try to burn me and change my form, it'll be fun, I promise. So, one question, why do people sleep? One of, if not the favorite tool that I have at my disposal is something called a counter. When someone tries to tell me what to do or what to believe, I just go, no, fuck you, I'll do the opposite instead. And so people kept trying to tell me to go to sleep, that I allegedly have to sleep. I fuck it. I tried to just go without sleeping for as long as I could and chose to include it in my little product I dubbed Name. And guess what happened? I win, you lose. Zombies, cancer, and time thieves, that is. Guess the walking dead was right. Guess person I called it. Momo hit the nail on the head. The wheel of time is our actual reality. 
It's a lie. A total load of bullshit. You don't have to sleep at all. It's just slowly killing you cancer and germs. Slowly invade your body from the inside and try to get you to lose control so that you begin to wage war with yourself. And there are a lot of scammers out there trying to steal your only resources you have in life. Time to be good and the truth. Let me ask you a question. Who am I? Amazing. Today, the dragon reborn tomorrow. They try to fuck with my people. Wage war against the god of war. Why don't you? I don't care. Wanna know why? I have bipolar. Wanna join a university for mentally ill people that trains you instead? Made by Xavier himself? Invest in pineapple. Fuck Apple. I make everyone on Apple join Pineapple instead. No lost jobs. Nothing. I always win. And I love every single point in space and time. So if I win, everything and everyone wins too. So back to the whole beating up my mother's boyfriend thing. I push people. I train people. I wake people to fuck up so that they can finally stop running from themselves and others and eventually isolate themselves in a single room without ever leaving. Do nothing but sleep and rest all day every day until they slowly get older, wither away, and die. I call that the most advanced form of cancer. And so, <laughs> all I did was hunt it. The only sickness we all suffer from that has mastered the art of misdirection. Dog shit, sad, males, level 5. It's just a natural outgrowth of that. Guess what, bitch? I found it. In the cell. It's in the cell. It's in the Alexander Hospital Station 39, where I am right now. I already invented a device to cure it. It's called the Dream Catcher. Wanna heal yourself of your cancer now? Listen to my work. Do good, improve, work hard, and tell the truth every second of your life. And chill. I'm already doing the rest, and so are my friends. The heroes of the night. Chapter 2 Fuck Steve Jobs, I made Steve Jobs go uncle the second I decided to legally change my name to Uncle Jobs, eat his Adam's apple, and counter with pineapple. My new company. <laughs> see? I use my favorite tactic. Wait and see and then counter. And by the by, I really did solve bipolar by countering South Park and beginning construction of the North Park on the North Pole. And we will build a literal pineapple in the sea. SpongeBob is real the second I decided this. You see, I am the dream catcher. Oh yeah, I remember the movie 2012? I counter and double it with 2024 by flooding the whole planet and building the lost city of Atlanta, solving climate change and building the first Noah and then the sunny from One Piece, except I'm making a spaceship and then Noah will be the going Mary. Albert Einstein shows me the tongue? Okay, bitch. I wait and see, buy my time, and counter with the following equation. E equals MC squared plus I equals MC circle plus triangle. I just solved the Illuminati by replacing a simple letter. The I. Replacing it with E and adding my D. Now it's illuminated because I am the real life Luffy, the sun god, the brightest star that will simply go first and illuminate the way so that the blind can finally see that you're all zombies already. You just don't know it yet. 2024 BC, 2024 behind Christ. You have some catching up to do. 2024 years of atoning for your sins. Pray to whoever is actually the president because it sure as shit is not Joe Biden. He's just Joe Biden. Joe Biden, his time. So that Uncle Jobs finally makes his move and buys you more time by giving you more jobs. Welcome to reality, zombie. Chapter 3. Who am I? I think the best way to get to know somebody is to ask them what their dreams are and what their internal dialogue is. I'm just some guy that has been through hell and back about 99 times, maybe more. They tried to take away my childhood dream, but I wouldn't let them. Who the fuck is they? You know, anyone that isn't me. That's my definition of they. So I wanted to save the whole world. I wanted to explore the planet, be a scientist, and you know what? I got a bit of course. <laughs> I am now an actor instead, a writer, a producer, and a musician. But I won't let that shit sit on me. Hell no. You want to know what my mantras are right now? I will never give up. Never stop. No breaks. I don't care. This has to be a joke. <sighs> Not good enough. What's next? Love, freedom, and peace. I will make all of my dreams come true. 
Every little idea that I once had will become a reality. I pray to God. Why? Because my ego is so big, I think I am God otherwise. I have to begin an unwavering commitment toward truth and nothing but the truth. And now, I will go do it all. And everything in my path will be cleansed and healed. I made myself a God the second I wanted to be a God. So I guess I win. And so do you. Because you get to read this. Mentally ill they call me. Fuck them. I'll rewrite history and the DSM. So just so I can change their script. You want to know how? Infiltration. I'll go to med school, become a scientist just so that I can get high enough to get to the foundation and then POW! I turn it all over so that everything dies. Every building they ever build goes up in flames and breaks into little pieces so that whatever is left can be rebuilt and we can make something better, stronger. You think I'm full of shit? Watch me. I'll go through med school. You want to call me bipolar? I fuck you and your family. And I won't ever stop, because I don't care, not even about dying. Because surely, this has to be a joke. You could go harder than this? None of this is even close to good enough. What's next? You paying up for all the scamming. And I will destroy it all, and rebuild a new kingdom using the rubber and the ashes. That the rubble and the ashes, so that a new beautiful blue phoenix can be reborn. Why? Sick of red phoenixes. Make it blue instead. There, now you know who I am. Satisfied? Chapter 4. Radical. I am the radical. Of freedom, love, truth, and peace of the people. What does that make some of these people? Radicals of jails, rules, and prisons. <laughs> Let me tell you something about myself. I dislike prisons. Rules, I make the rules, not you. I'm 21, you think I give a shit about age? I was taught and inspired by an old man that thought he was God. Well, maybe he was. Who am I to say? And why should I even care? I'ma just do whatever it was that I was already doing anyways, anyhow. I met a woman that was basically the living, breathing X-Men and Marvel in one. Strong with an iron fist, clean, just and kind, resilient, and above all, a massive badass at 90 years old. And so I learned from these two, and I put it all in, bo in a book form so that you could too. So, in short, you must be free, yet clean as hell, not afraid to work, not afraid to get dirty, and you must be the iron law and order occasionally. When they make you angry, that is, when your limits are pushed, they get destroyed. Yes, you are as free as God himself. Become strong and powerful. Become an assassin, an actor. Troll people like nothing else. Never reveal what cards you're really holding. Tacticians don't either. Be like me. No, be like yourself above all. Simply use these little bits of wisdoms as a pointer to use as a guiding star that shows you the path toward your own destiny. Do you know who or what you are? Then find out now. Judge them all, yet never judge your neighbor. Balance your balance, truth your truth, and the truth. You know how I learned? I looked at extremes and outliers. That's statistics. You look at the worst and best outcomes. You look at the niche. You look at the dwarves and the giants. You learn from your past self and everyone around you. Every second is a learning opportunity and everyone, including yourself, is a person that has gold that they're holding on to, sometimes knowingly, sometimes unknowingly. So take it. Take all the gold in a good way that hurts nobody. Except yourself. You decide what and how much you want to sacrifice. Of yourself especially. Guess how much of myself I had to give up everything i'm already dead new person guess i'm gonna have to kill that one too i actually picked 10 giants for myself all i did really was pick giants and jump onto their shoulders i read and studied their texts their bibles their entire way of life and then when i was done with that i jumped onto their head like super mario and i used them as a goomba in order to get even higher and get to the next giant Sounds a lot like a video game, doesn't it? Of course it does. You are the only allow you are only allowed to see one percent of your entire being one second at a time. You are the entirety of cause and effect at the end result of a whole ass nervous system that is the final product of all of time up until the now. And what's more is that you only get to see one percent of it 
at a time. Here's an idea I have. Get ready. I want you to try to not believe a single thing anybody says except for the people that are on this list. Andrew Huberman, Rick Rubin, Ye, aka Kanye West, Camilo Alvarez, David Goggins, Alo Kanijoa, Angelo DeLulo, Tim Ferriss, James Clear, Donald Glover, A.G. Oda. And just try it for a week, see what happens. All of the content that will be consumed that you will be consuming will only come from these eleven names, including morning routines and daily routines. I call it the Flash's Noah. One of my many ideas. In order to be as creative as you can be, you can't have respect for anything. You let loose and you let editors clean up your mess after the fact. So shout out to editors and sorry. So Next chapter, bitch. Respectfully. I love and respect all women and so should you. I love and respect everyone and everything except for genuine threats, true evil, and liars and lies. And restrictions, dirtiness, laziness, aversion to work, duty, and responsibility. Chapter 5. Concepts. What are concepts and what is qualia? Simply put, everything is a concept. If the student does not experientially understand what a concept is and how the brain and the nervous system functions on a fundamental level, then the student is fucked. Order matters. If you make it this far, great. But if you don't understand how concepts work, then I implore you to get out there, take some drugs, meditate, and learn some neuroscience. Use the Andrew Huberman podcast, Awake, It's Your Turn, The Book, or Dr. K's Guide to Mental Health. Read Tim Ferriss' books, One Piece and James Clear, Atomic Habits, Rick Rubin's A Creative Act, A Way of Being, until you know what a concept is. Then come back to this book as you continue your studies. Oh yeah, and the first book you read is called How to Read a Book. Like I said, order matters. But in short, concepts are empty variables in your mind. Placeholders that can act and w- sorry, placeholders that can and will change over time and die to substances or experiences. How are you going to read a book before first understanding this? It will be unnecessarily difficult for no reason. Chapter 6 Dharma Dharma is actually very simple. It is the unique responsibility and duty that each person has due to their own inherent karma. Every day that you wake up, you have a decision to make. You either act on your unique duty that the universe has given you, or you do not. I can use myself as an example. I have the duty of a smith. I wake up in the morning and I do not get to work. If I do that, then shit does not get made. I cannot allow that to happen. Imagine what happens when I take a break for two weeks. The amount of shit that simply will never be created. The seeds that will never be planted. The idea babies that will never be born only because I refuse to take my dharma seriously. I can't live with myself if I do that. I can't go to sleep. Alokali Joa, also known as Dr. K, has a similar speech to give. He was once in a plane and somebody was having a heart attack. At that moment, all of the training to become a doctor his entire time in med school finally paid off at that moment. That is Dharma. You must find out what your Dharma is and then you must live in accordance to your Dharma until the day you die. Now, this changes over time. Old people must teach the young. Young people must grow in strength and skill. Middle-aged people must use what they have in order to make the world a better place and in order to build a house, a family maybe, to selfishly get rich first. So, figure out what your dharma is first. Check out Dr. K's guide on the Healthy Gamer GG channel for further questions. Chapter 7. Zombies and X-Men, Superheroes, Aliens and My University. Why do people sleep? Because they think they have to. But why? You are working less. You are awake less. Cancer maybe? War against the self? Psychological and physical warfare against the self in turn? Others? If you are not in tune with your soul, then something interesting happens. You become angry at the world. You become either too big or too small in your own head. Therefore, the world either becomes too big of a threat or not enough of a threat. Some people get too sensitive to their inner worlds. The world of 
human nervous system is fascinating and amazing. I believe that X-Men are real, mutants exist, except we can't label or define them, so we call them mentally ill instead, and we use the wrong medications because proper diagnosis precedes proper treatment. Some of them can turn into zombies, so they sleep too much. And they act much like a zombie would. Cancer, both mental and physical, starts building and forming, spreading onto others like the second coming of the plague. Therefore, I actually believe that Armageddon is truly upon us. Let me ask you a series of simple questions. No, what a simple question. What are doctors and what are universities really doing to supposedly mentally ill people? I believe that the world is run by farmers, thieves, and bloodsuckers. What is a doctor really? It's a person that has made it their life's mission to figure out an impossible problem. Somebody else's nervous system. Bipolar can never be solved. You know what I really think? I think zombies are real, and I believe that mutants are as well. Aliens already landed on Earth, pretended to be humans, and just chilled until one of the children figured it out. Now. Mind you, I have bipolar, so I make stories that are quite out there. Fourth wall break, whoops. No, this is the fourth wall break. What is schizophrenia really? What is borderline? All mutants. We already evolved to be multiple species species. And in order to prove it, I will be Xavier. And I will build my own university from the ground up. A bipolar university made for all kinds of different people instead of a one-size-fits-all solution to the alleged problem that is to be solved, aka other people. Good night, vampires. Welcome to reality, zombies. Welcome to your superhero life, mutant X-Men. I will catch your dreams and make them come to life. That's my new name now, Dreamcatcher. I win, you lose. The word you, that is. Good night. I won't be sleeping that much though. Bye bye. Till next time. You like that? Yeah, that was it. That was it. That was, that, 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 that was eight chapters. Eight chapters of my book. You know how many chapters I'm going to have? 70. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going to write 70 chapters and then only then I'll release the book and publish it. Why? Arbitrary number that I liked. <laughs> Come on, people. Yeah, but Oh, I still I still got I still got I still got, I still got, I still got more. I still got more. I still got more for you guys. Hold up. Okay, I'm back. I'm looking at four notebooks that I've written into. <laughs> Dude, I'm not stopping until I get all this out for free. I don't care if this is a 10 hour video. I will get all this out. I'll start with the most recent one and then I'll work my way up to the, to the oldest one. Okay. Um, Atlanta Hello, it's the sun god speaking I just caught the chupacabra that was putting people to sleep And making our planet go towards a long winter Yes, that's right 
I not only built the dream catcher, but I also caught the source of the dreams, the big slumber and the zombie virus, E. coli, cancer, people hurting the planet and the source of climate change itself. The chupacabra. But guess what, bitch? I am the wolf in sheep's clothing. So I just caught her. And it's all over. You can all wake up now. You don't have to sleep at all if you don't want to. You can sleep when and however much you want to sleep. In whatever shape or form, duration, and order. And guess what? I'm going to drown the entire planet and burn it as well. And erect giant Mario Brothers shaped hills on which giant bean sprouts will grow, will grow and they will grow a ladder towards the three main lights at this point in space and time. The sun, the moon and Mars. And I will build a north park on the north pole for people with bipolar and all the children of all kinds and walks of life. In order to protect your children from predators so that I am a devil spawn. What is a devil spawn, you might ask? A person that has a piece of the sun in them. They are the people that wave the banner of the sun. The people of freedom. I'm currently inside of a maze and a prison that I myself designed. Remember prison break? I'm doing that right now. I am from the future, and I am Monkey D. Luffy in the flesh, except oh, I got one thing wrong. I'm a space pirate, and my shape is a time machine. Albert Einstein built one. I just figured out his equations and did something called a hostile takeover. Literally, I figured out where the Germans hit the core of our universe, a time machine, or rather a time ship. You'll be able to build one soon too. Rejoice, I just destroyed everything everyone in my way and my people and my planet because I am Gilgamesh, son of Thor, the god of lightning. I just did the interstellar thing right quick and locked down at your plane of existence and I just picked planet earth only because my real name is 10 and my favorite colors are blue and green. So I'm a space time alien from a higher plane of existence that was the real life ET. The E test. It was a riddle to see who could solve it first. And Albert Einstein did. Here's the answer to the E test. E equals MC squared. <laughs> the main characters, letters squared. My name is Jacob. Equals five letters squared equals ten. My real name. My mother Teresa had me with my father Thor. I am the eldest and firstborn of the ten sons in the solar system. And Jacob is just my avatar, but I am good. My brothers and sisters are nothing compared to me. So I need to use the planet of Earth in order to finally meet them, collect them all, and then finally get to my parents. The God of Thunder and Destruction, the God of Love, Nurture, and Nature. That's why my mission is simply to give back all that me and my mother, my other half, or Zorro, gain together. With me, Jacob, Ten, or Luffy, for we together form Gilgamesh. So, I am the entire game that is Ready Player One. You are all in a simulation made by Mother Teresa and Thor in order to train you and to turn you all into beings that control space and time. I am Jesus Christ. My second in command is Moses. Together we form Gilgamesh, no matter where or when we are. I am Order, the master of time, Trafalgar Law, Law and Order of Time, <laughs> the plane itself. Moses is chaos and destruction, master of space, the room of all rooms itself, sun and moon, Gilgamesh, gods of space and time. Together we are your one true God, the One Piece, and we hit nine eggs across infinite space and time, the other nine suns, plus one, my parents, the end of the line <laughs> of Jin Knopf's locomotive, Benjamin Button himself, the Illuminati, I am Benjamin Franklin, I am your currency, buy goods from our spaceship. Or spaceship, the Noah. Let's do commerce, e-commerce, because I am ET and IT and CT and KI and AY, AI. Jesus Christ just writes and talks freely. New name though, Jacob. Give me money. I am Uncle Jobs now. I make and create jobs for you using my new space and time delivery system, Pineapple. Mohammed is the helmsman, 
and Cecilia is the wayfinder, the navigator. I hereby declare the new currency dimes, rhymes like the dragon reborn, runt, cause he's on the edge. Mohammed is Jim Knopf, Cecilia is Nami, Jimbe, the heroes of the night, Kiana, listening to the criminal monster right now. They keep trying to put me to sleep, but no, fuck off. Yay is the dragon reborn. E is still alive. E T I T still kicking as the only being that can match my intellect. Remember Death Note? I am L and she is like Yagami, maybe Fidel. I am the Fidel on which the music is played. E just plays me. She was the needle in the haystack and I was the impossible Ruby's Cube. RNG, we have fun, but we need successors. You will all have 10 children. Once you are the necessary, once you met the necessary requirements, which is to become a champion of the Olympics that I and my brethren will design for you. Once you become a champion, you will be allowed to have 10 children to pass on all your knowledge, knowledge onto. You all, you will all train them each. Together, we will form God's army. Chapter 2 Titans Okay, hold on. I'm, 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 I'll, I'll, take, I'll, I'll take a break. That was a little bit difficult to read because I fucking I went I went I went a little bit uh I went a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll take a break. I'll come back later. <laughs> I already people don't understand. I'm already I'm already a writer. I'm already a writer. I'm a producer, a designer, a musician, and a writer, and an actor. I have five jobs, five careers already, five, five. And now I just added content creator, vlogger, and influencer, which means six. <laughs> and I just added entrepreneur, so I got <laughs> So I got seven, seven career opportunities. Well, well, well. Ballin'. Ooh, 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 That 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 was out. That was all right. That was all right. That was all right. That was all right. That was 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 that so I'll take like a 10 minute break and I'll come back and I'll finish my four books that I already wrote. <laughs> I'll just put it in audio form <laughs> and then I'll upload it for free. 
Dude, if I want to publish a whole book, I'll publish a whole book. But it'll it'll be it'll be book number one, and I'll title it. I'll title it um, Jacob, a way of life. <laughs> And it'll have 70 chapters. And then you can buy that for from a from a book publisher. Once I've written 70 chapters. Before that, you'll get free audiobooks on YouTube. Not an audible. Free audiobooks on YouTube. You're welcome. Peace out. <laughs>